The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are on collision course with King Charles, as their son will celebrate his fourth birthday on the King's Concar Ocean. King Charles' big day could be overshadowed by another major event clashing with his Concar Ocean. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son Archie will be celebrating his birthday on May 6 on the same day Charles will formally rise to the throne. The clash could deepen royal tensions between the royal household and the Sussexes. Earlier this year, Buckingham Palace announced the Concar Ocean date but did not offer further details as to why it was picked. The monarch will be crowned at Westminster Abbey, alongside his wife Queen Consort Camilla, at an event likely to bring together all members of the royal family, world leaders, state dignitaries and other religious figures. However, the royal event will happen on the same day as Archie's fourth birthday. The announcement of the date follows a slew of clashes between Harry and Meghan, and the royal family since the couple left the firm in 2020. The clash came under sharper focus in early December, as the America-based couple made a series of allegations against the royal family in their Netflix docu series Harry and Meghan. The couple accused the royal household, without giving names, of waging a media war against the Sussexes by deliberately planting negative stories about the couple in a bid to deflect attention from less favorable coverage of other royals. Jenny Appiah, who is a partner at Schilling's law firm in London, said in the Netflix docu series, there was a real kind of war against Meghan, and I have certainly seen evidence that there was negative briefing from the palace against Harry and Meghan to suit other people's agendas. This barrage of negative articles about the breakdown of the relationship with her father was the final straw in a campaign of negative nasty coverage about her. In another damning accusation, the Duke of Sussex claimed his father's office leaked private correspondence between him and King Charles to the media over his plans to move to Canada. He said, the key piece of that story that made me aware that the contents of the letter between me and my father had been leaked was that we were willing to relinquish our Sussex titles. That was the giveaway. Prince Harry also said his brother, Prince William, screamed and shouted at him at a crisis summit in January 2020 as sandering him in front of the Queen. His wife, Meghan, had deliberately not been invited to the gathering at which the couple's plans to step back from royal duties was to be discussed, Harry claimed. It was very terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father says things that were just simply untrue, and my grandmother quietly sit there and sort of take it all in, he added. In an interview with US talk show host Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry said he felt really let down by Charles claimed he had stopped taking his calls in the run-up to the MEGX IT crisis and said there was a lot of hurt. He later blasted Charles' role as a father, criticizing him for expecting his sons to endure the pressures of royal life, and suggesting his parenting left him with genetic pain and suffering. It remains unclear whether the feud will affect his son, Archie, who has not yet inherited the title of prince, which he should have technically got after the Queen's death. The Sussex's daughter, Lily Bet, has not yet been given her princess title. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will have a place at the King's Concar Ocean should they wish to attend, despite the fallout from their Netflix documentary, it has been reported. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.